Our access to local stores has gotten a little more limited these days, and I've seen a lot of voices online gasping at, ah, I didn't stock up on enough art supplies before we got our stay-at-home requests. Hi, everyone. This is Michelle, and I am here to tell you that not being able to run out to the nearest store or wait for purchases online to get your art supplies can actually be a blessing to your creativity. We're going to focus on how to remake some everyday items into those next beautiful canvases, and a perfect place to start is with paint paintings or artwork that you already have that you're tired of. Simply paint over it with some gesso or some primer. Uh, give it a couple of coats going a couple different directions. Sand that down nice and you have a fresh start to your next painting. You can also stretch some of your own canvases and a great place to do that or place to start with that as well is with old uh, wooden photo frames that you already have. So if you have some wooden picture frames empty, you can stretch your fabric right over the frame. With You just need a little stapler to staple it nice and taut uh, to the back side. You can use a uh, heavier weight fabric, works best. So if you have some canvas, I love to use um, some repurpose some coffee bags or some burlap because that gives your canvas some extra uh, texture to it. But then once you have that stapled on there nice and tight, once again, you're gonna prime it. Put some gesso on there, put some of your wall primer, a couple of coats, and you're gonna have a beautiful new canvas to paint on. You can also be a little more rustic or primitive. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let the kids figure out some fun ways to frame. This is just scraps of lath strips that, um, you know, they don't even have to be perfectly square. We just stapled our fabric to the back side of it um, after we had them constructed. You can also, instead of just using one piece of fabric, play around with some of your scraps that you stitch together. That too is gonna give you some more interest, some design, some color, and then you will gesso and prime over these, stretch them around your frame, another beautiful canvas to paint on. And one of my favorites is to just simply paint on wood panels. So if you have scraps of wood, you can cut those down into a variety of different sizes. And what I love about working on wood is it supports a lot of different medium so you can glue you can paint you could nail you could wire and it really gives you a nice surface to explore on so i encourage you to remake some of the everyday items that you have around your house and you too will be well on your way to your next creative adventure